Ladies and gentlemen, this is being reported everywhere now. A couple hours ago, State Senator, Arizona State Senator, Democrat, Tony Navarrete, accused, uh, well, arrested. I don't even want to talk about what he's accused of because of YouTube policies. But I'm simply reporting the news. So, for any human reviewer to ensure that this channel or any other channel abides by YouTube policies. I'm simply reporting the news. This is Arizona ABC 15. Arizona State, uh, Senator Tony Navarrete arrested. Um, Newsweek, Arizona State Senator Tony Navarrete arrested. Um, KIRO 7, I think it's a Phoenix affiliate. Arizona State Senator accused. And you have azfamily.com, State Senator Tony Navarrete arrested for suspected, okay, Arizona Capital Times, Dem Senator uh, arrested. So, this is the news. I'm reporting the news. That's all I'm doing. And I always have a, I've always had a pristine relationship with YouTube, and I always put the links in the description, and so this will be no different. Um, it's, it's so difficult, especially to report on the potential crimes of Democratic politicians. I noticed that it's very, very, very difficult um, to just explain what's going on, oftentimes because there's such a emphasis on protecting Democratic lawmakers. We'll see how the Washington Post reports on this. But let's look at uh, 12news.com. Arizona State Senator arrested. To give you a hint as to what he's arrested for, this was what a Florida Republican was accused of, but never arrested of. I think it's actually, in a way, a lot worse. A lot worse, actually. Um... And of course, Repub uh, Democrats or people on social media, on Twitter, oh my God, they were just so, um, they would gleefully talk about what this Florida Republican allegedly was being investigated for. We'll see if those people show the same disdain and indignation. We'll see how Democrats in Arizona and around the country react to this. The investigation stems from a report about alleged Two years ago, Phoenix, Democratic State Senator uh, Ant uh, Antonio Tony Navarrete was arrested Thursday night on charges of, uh, okay, a police source with knowledge of the case told 12 News, while reports circulated in the political community that Navarrete had, had been arrested, Phoenix Police released this uh, statement late Thursday, quote, the Phoenix Police Department received a report of that occurred in 2019 detectives interviewed a victim and witness and on August 5th developed probable cause to arrest the suspect the suspect was arrested and is currently in the process of being booked into jail for most multiple counts of with a among other charges senate democrats issued this statement <laughs> okay uh, quote we are aware uh, one of our members has been uh, arrested and are awaiting further details from law enforcement to do its job. We will not have further comment at this time. You better believe, you better believe that this story will either be suppressed in some manner, barely addressed or discussed or talked about, because that's the way things work in the greatest country in the world. Um, so this has nothing to do with you know, any of the recounts in Arizona, this has nothing to do with, you know, electoral politics in any way. Well, I mean, it has nothing to do with what's, what Arizona or the state legislature has been focused on. By the way, hit subscribe to this channel right now. If you enjoy this segment, there's a super thanks button below right next to the like and the share button. So I don't have $20 million in venture capital funding like some people. I don't have, I don't have 
you know, $20 million in venture capital funding, like some people who are experiencing experiencing or um, battling a discrimination case, by the way, defending themselves uh, pertaining to a discrimination case. Anyway, the wonderful, morally superior liberal Democrats in the country are very, very good people. And But sometimes, sometimes they're caught in this tremendous amount of well, the hypocrisy is unbelievable. But you have Republicans and you have Democrats, you have politicians breaking the law. The difference, though, is that if there's a hint of impropriety, if there's even a slight, like any allegation, immediate investigation for a Republican, especially if it's against Trump. Tax returns, they found nothing. So tell, please tell me, I mean, if you stumbled upon this channel, tell me what they found in Trump's tax returns. I thought it was the holy grail of corruption. I thought that he was the orange Al Capone of our generation. What did they find? Now Congress wants his tax returns so they can grandstand. And, I'm, you know, so they found nothing. He never worked with Russia. So let's, let's recap all the things that Trump didn't do. And then we can get back to the things that Democrats actually did do and got, got arrested for. So President Trump didn't work with Russia. He was investigated and Mueller found no evidence, charged nobody, indicted nobody on colluding with Russia. Trump was not indicted or charged with colluding with a hostile foreign nation. They say that he compelled people to commit violent acts four or five months ago. Yes, that was a horrendous day. I condemn that day. Those five people should be alive today. Um, so why don't they indict Trump? Why don't they charge Trump? Why don't, I mean, it's all in the news now. Oh my God, look what Trump said. Look what he did. Look what he, he you know, the incitement was, oh my God. Well, he, they didn't charge or indict Trump for that fateful day last January. They didn't indict or charge Trump for anything to do with Trump-Russia. They said he pressured Zelensky during the first impeachment, which was absurd. He had every right to inquire if our beloved president, then Vice President Biden, or former Vice President Biden, our current president, uh, was engaged in any corrupt act. We know from his wonderful son's emails... Yet another issue, yet another story that was completely suppressed because Twitter just miraculously, or I should say accidentally, uh, suspended the New York Post's account on the biggest story of any election cycle. We have a laptop full of incriminating emails. Had we had, like, had we known about emails like, how can you use your influence on behalf of the company? 10% to the big man. All of these emails that are very incriminating. My God, could you imagine if Eric Trump or Donald Trump Jr. had those emails? Could you imagine the Vanity Fair article? Or could you imagine the New York Post or uh, New York, no, sorry, New York Times or Washington Post investigative journalists on the scene with Eric Trump's laptop or Donald Trump Jr.'s laptop that he left at a computer repair store in a drunken stupor? And all that's, anyway... Had we known about those emails, he would never have been impeached. That's a fact. They didn't even indict him or charge him for any crime. Then there, there was the whole thing with Michael Avenatti and Stormy and that you know what happened there. He wasn't charged with anything and that man, I, I feel bad for him, but at the same time, he was on TV for 200, 250 plus times, Michael Avenatti. Now he's going to serve prison time. So... We can go down the list of, they say that Florida Republican was accused of this crime. Well, he's being investigated and he's, there is no arrest, okay? Uh, what, what media does oftentimes is say, uh, there's reason to be suspicious. There's reason to be suspicious uh, when it comes to a Trump Republican or a person close to Trump, but they find nothing in terms of what the suspicion is allegedly all about. This, I'm not gleefully reporting on. This was, this is a, a criminal, you know, heinous criminal act. 
and there's nothing to be gleeful about. But I'm reporting the news. You'll have a whole bunch of article links below. Hit subscribe right now to this channel. Um, I will do another upload on any developments pertaining to this very soon. Thank you.